What's up, YouTube? I had to make this quick content real quick. I come home this morning, and my youngest daughter like, did you see the weekend face? And I'm like, no. So she showed me the picture of the weekend face on her phone, and I damn near hit the flow. I said, no way this is real. I couldn't believe it. So I told my oldest daughter, I said, pull it up on your computer. And I got my phone right in my hand. I could have looked at it on my phone, right? So she pulling it up, and I said, forget that. I'm about to look it up, you know, on my phone. I look at it on my phone, and I said, he got a video out with the new look. I said, oh, I'm about to check this video out right now on this TV, on my TV. So I pull it up, and I'm, I am just, I lost the words, okay? If his face is real, what the hell? What the hell? Now, if it's, um, you know, part of his, you know, part of his, for part of his album or this particular song or video, I dig that. You being creative. I understand that. But if this is real, uh-uh. Woo. I'm going to tell you. It looks creepy. It looks creepy. It looks like, um, parts of it looks like Jim Carrey the mask because of the bone structure. It's so sharp. Like, it's too sharp. It's too muscular. It's muscular and sharp. And then it kind of looks like a, a person transforming into a demon. You know, like, you know, those demon faces that transform. They kind of come out and then they, they, they're they very, their bone structure gets real strong. That's what I get out of it when I look at him. It just, or, or some type of gargoyle, you know, because, you know, their bone structures are so strong and muscular. Uh-uh. I ain't feeling that. I'm not feeling a new look if it's if it's the new look. I'm going to tell you something. The song is nice. The song is hot, but then it's like a message behind it to me. It's a message behind it. The scene that creeps me out, that makes me feel like it's a message behind it, is when he picks the girl from out of the audience. Because I just looked at the video. I looked at the video. He picks the girl out of the audience, and he walks her up on stage. Okay? The lights go off. Then they cut back on. No. Before the lights cut off, they show him having a gun behind his back. Then the lights cut off. When the lights cut off and cut back on, he somehow has the gun in her hand and the gun is facing him, you know, facing his head. And he's singing Save Your Tears and looking at her with that, you know, that look, the mask look. And I'm just, and she's looking at him like terrified, like how the hell I get this gun in my hand? That part right there to me is a message. It's a message somewhere in there. And it's almost it almost it's almost a creepy type thing to me because who would do that? You know, when, who you know, once you meet somebody, you know, and you, you come up on stage and something like that happen, you're gonna be like, What? It's gonna throw you off. So that's what it showed in the video. It throwing her off and she got scared. She, you know, she started off happy to see him and look at him and dance with him. And then it just got real creepy after that. Once the lights cut back on. But, uh-uh. I am in shock. Now, like I said, if, it, if, 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 if this look right, if that look right there that he got is part of, um, for his album or the song, I understand that. Okay, you being creative. You trying something different. I get that. But if it's real, 